page 44a, on the very bottom, there's a Mishnah. It says, the Yosva showed you initially the coin starts speaking, and then the coin repeats the coin, then the, the law enforcer repeats the law enforcer, then the Shotrim, they add to what the coin said. Daber of Rebkiv Omer, what do they say? Hayorei v'rachad levov. They say a person who's fearful and, so, and, and soft-hearted should go back. Kimashmo, Rebkiv interpret means a person, what does that mean? Sheni yocho lamod b'kishay mochoma. He can't take the experience of war. He becomes totally... Uh, Incapacitated. Mm. If he's exposed to that fearful situation, he can't. He can't see a, a unsheathed sword, totally unraveled. <coughs> it's it. Can't deal with it. So if so, he's not an asset. He's a detriment. Right. He shouldn't be on the battlefield. Rabbi Yosi Aglilo Mano, Hayori Vracha Levo. You know what that is? The person is fearful, and <coughs> therefore he's soft-hearted. Zamisyori Min Haaviru Shviyado. Meaning, as a person, because he understands you need tremendous chus to be able to survive. And because he knows his personal record, he's fearful that he's not going to make it because of that. So we say, we give all these other excuses. These are only excuses to cover up the real reason why he's going back. Not because of the vineyard, not because of that. It's because, because he's afraid of his, his, his spiritual record. It's, not, it's a flawed record. People who have forbidden relationships. That's called Yorev Rachelevov. These are sins. So the Mars is going to ask a question. What's the odd Reb Yossi? What is Reb Yossi adding to Reb Yossi Aglili? Right? And when the Shotrim finish speaking, they appoint officers over the numbers, the legions, Barosha Om, firstly, before they have these, these officers, military in front, when they're about to go into battle, and they have a group behind. Uba Kevo Shalom, they have them in front and the back. What, what is their function? Mamid and Zakifin Lifneim. What are the officers? They're very powerful people. Let's say a person falls, trips, stumbles, or he faints, or whatever it is. You know what they do? They pick him up right. and they bolster him. And what's the function of the ones behind the lines, behind the soldiers? They have literally rods of iron in their hands. Mm -hmm. And anybody want, they break their legs. If they want to desert. If they want to go back, they want to desert, mm -hmm. right? You hear that? You want an extra portion of dessert? Okay. You get your legs yeah, broken. Dessert. Okay, Howard. Okay, why? Shetchilas nisa de filo. Because the Gemara is going to invert this. Because the beginning of fleeing is falling. The Gemara is just the, the opposite. Fleeing. The beginning of fleeing yeah. is when a people start getting disheartened. That's when you begin fleeing. Oh. So it should be the other way. Shetchilas de filo. The beginning of, of, of losing a battle is when you start fleeing. So we have to discourage people from what? There shouldn't be any deserters. Shenemar. Nos Yisrael lefnei plishtim. When the Yisrael, they fled from before the Philistines. And they pleased him. It says they fled, and what does it say right afterwards? So and because they fled, therefore they fell victim. Uh -huh. The moment you're on the run, it's over. That means you've lost the battle. If people are demoralized, and they don't have that sense of confidence to go into battle, it's the beginning of the end. The Medvar Memorum, all this that we said until now, they go back. You go, you go there, then you go back, or you don't even go. That's only if it's a non-obligatory war. It's a mechemes mitzvah. We said before, a person just gets married. He doesn't even have to go out there. No. If mechemes mitzvah, everybody's conscripted. Everybody. Omer of Yudah, b'med of Amur, b'mechemes mitzvah. He says, Mechemes Mitzvah, but if it's Mechemes Chova, it's an obligatory. He's going to ask a question. He's going to explain this, what it means, the last statement. Now, we said, Rabbi Yosef Lili says, What's Yore Varacha Levov? A person is fearful for the sins that he did. And therefore, he's, 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 he's weak hearted. Rabbi Yosef says, Even if you marry a, a Gerusha, a Kohen Godel, a Mona, a Mamzeres, so Mar asks, so what's the difference? They're saying the same thing. So what's Yorev Rachalevov? You did the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. You're concerned because of the sins that you have. 
So Mar asked, my Ikobe Rabbi Yosef, what are they saying the same thing? Mm -hmm. They're interpreting it the same way. Ikobe now you have You hear this? What about on a Torah level? Let's say for Torah level, the person never sinned, but he, f he sinned on a rabbinic level. Okay? That's the argument. Rabbi Yosef says, what are, are his examples? Mamzeres to a legitimate Jew, a Kohen to a Grusha. That's Torah violations. Mm -hmm. When Rabbi Yosef Lee says, a person is concerned for the sins that he has. Sins mean even rabbinically. You, you right. violate rabbinic. That's the difference. To what degree do we, do we allow, does he go back? Does he have to be concerned about a Jurabonon? Or he only has to be concerned about a Doraisa? Mm -hmm. so it's, and what, what's an example of that? Kiman Aslo, the Tanya, it says, shal yav litfilo the chosim meroch will come to this person. You know, we don't speak to him. Right. If you speak, you have to say you have to say the brach over again. Right. Let's say you do speak. It's only rabbinically on a Torah level you're permitted to speak. Between between the shaliyah and shalosh. <coughs> but yet we say, it says in the bray. So if person does, that's enough reason he sent back. To, he should not be at the front because no, that's that's yorei v'rachalevo. He has to be fearful for that for that infraction that he mm -hmm. has. He says, come on, Okay, so Rashi says, interesting. The way it's, it's understood always, you're not permitted to speak. So for the speaking, Rashi says, it's only speak he spoke. What's the locha, the way we rule? A Sephardi says, how many brachas on his tefillin? One. One bracha, yeah. which covers the shaliyah. He says, Allah niach, covers the shaliyah shal rosh. Right. Ashkenazim, two. we say two. What happens if an Ashkenazi speaks between the shaliyah and shal rosh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many you say on the shal rosh? Probably. You say both. You have to say two on the show, Rosh. Yeah. Okay? So, but, but let's say you did say the two. So Rashi <coughs> learns, you, then you corrected it. Okay. He says the one who speaks and puts it on and doesn't say the additional bracha. That's, that's, that's the way Rashi learns. So the infraction is you should have said a bracha, you didn't. Okay. You put on the full and Shiros without saying another bracha. Okay. But it seems if you said the bracha, you're okay. The way it simply it says, you weren't permitted to speak. Mm -hmm. We said the bracha, didn't say the bracha. You did the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Matar Mohotur Rabbonon, Shoma Kol Kronos. We learned by a person who heard the sounds of, of horns, and he felt overwhelmed with fear. Virsia, Agovis Tracin, the rattling of the, of the shields, the banging of the shields. Virsia, and he became, he became uh, overwhelmed with fear. Tzachtschos Charovos, the, the banging of the swords. Umayim Shosna Birki, he's so incapacitated. He starts urinating. He lost Function. control of his bodily functions. Mm -hmm. The urine is running down his, his knees. Choser. Mm -hmm. You hear this? He goes back. Goes back. We don't want that guy in the front. Because other people see this kind of thing. They become what? They become demoralized. Mm -hmm. So who's this? So we're talking about Yari Rachalev means this guy can't handle it. It's just too much for him to deal with. Come on. Lameka Rebbe Akibu. See, that's Rebbe Kivu. Has Rebbe Kivu learned Rachalevov? He cannot see a, un, an unsheathed sword. Right. And it's too much. But Rabbi Yosek Lili, on that one, it's very Rabbi Yosek Lili, the mode. It's true. Rabbi Yosek Lili is two things. A person's concern for his spiritual record, send them back. What about in addition, he just can't handle what's out there? Uh -huh. Also, he send them back. Because right. it says in the post, he should not cause the hearts of his brothers okay. to what? To melt. Because right. he'll demoralize them. So if a person, you see this kind of thing happening, the way he's reacting to the whole situation, you say, you know, the, guy, the, man, is the, the man is a detriment. Right. You send him back. Does this apply to both classes of war? Or just the Any, definitely. This definitely. This to both. You don't want this guy there. He's, he's only caused problems. close right. It says, when the Shochim, the law enforcement, is finished speaking, it says in the Mishnah, why? Because the beginning of falling... The, it says the beginning of fleeing is falling. So I'm going to ask a question. Say so the other way. The beginning, when, when do you begin falling, losing the battle, when you flee? That's the way the mission say it. It says, On that verse, you're right. It has to be restated. Mm -hmm. The mission should read, What's the first signs of, of losing? Nisa, when you start fleeing. You start fleeing from the battle, it's over. The Mishnah says, when do we say we make all these differentiations? Well, you can stay home, or you go, you, you go and you go back. That's only if it's a non-obligatory war. Om Rabbi Yochanan, Rishus Trabonon. 
When the Rabbanu classified the war as Rishus, Zu mitz, zu he mitzvah, the Reb Yudah. That's, that Reb Yudah, that's, that's mitzvah. He refers to that as, mean they're not arguing, it's just a question of how to classify the wars. He, that's a mitzvah. Mitzvah, the Rabbanu, when the Rabbanu speak about Mechilis <coughs> mitzvah, Zu chovah, the Reb Yudah. That is the obligatory war of Reb Yudah. So what's the Zemar's name? Sif. Basically, they're saying the same thing. They're just mm-hmm. calling it different things. Omer of Yudah, Omer Rava. What's Melchemes Yeshua? Lichbosh. The conquest of Canaan by Yeshua ben Nun. Right. Everybody agrees, Divya Kol Chova. That's Chova. Yeah, I have to. Melchemes Beis David What about it? We're talking oh. about territory expansion. Mm-hmm. You're conquering for the sake of expansion. Divya Kol Rishus. That's non-obligatory. Yeah, that's non-obligatory. Kipligi, lemute over the gachovim to lace your life. What about you want to protect the, the borders of Israel that the goyim should not invade, right? So there, they both agree there's an obligation, but they're classifying it. One says it's called nechemitz mitzvah, and the other says it's called chovah. The Mar says, Mar kori le mitzvah. One of the chachom called that mitzvah. It's really for protection, right? O mar kori le rishus, my nafkemino. We have a principle, if you engage in one mitzvah, you're not permitted to do another mitzvah. So if it's classified as Melchemes mitzvah, so if you're doing it, you don't say Kriyashma, you do nothing. But if it's not classified as Melchemes mitzvah, it's Melchemes Rushus, so then you have to abide by, you're not interrupting a mitzvah. Are you speaking of soldiers posting the border to guard the land, or, or where there's invaders coming? But yes, pikuach nevesh. There's no question. Everything is come. You do whatever you have to do. We speak of standing guard, or that they shouldn't come in. Hajin loch mishulcham, hajin lo, hajin loch mishulcham, hajin lo, and hajin loch mishulcham, hajin alon. Egla rufa. Egla rufa is when you find a corpse and you're not sure from which the murder of which community did he come from. So what do you do? You measure the distance of the corpse, and it's between two communities. So what do you do? You measure, and whichever community is close to that community has to bring, bring the egla rufa. That's they take a calf and they break its neck in, the, in a valley. Egla Rufa, so the Zikanim, they make a statement. They make a statement. This statement has to be made in Loshna Kodesh. Egla Rufa, Loshna Kodesh, in Emar. It says in Doki, Motse, Cholo Badoma. You find a corpse on the ground. Yep. Bo Adoma. It doesn't mean in the ground, on the ground. The Yotsus, Kenech of Shoftecho. The elders, mean we're talking about the Sanhedrin Gedola, members of the Sanhedrin Gedola go out, and you judges, Shloshim Bez Nagorosh Mishalayim Hoyu, Yotzin. Tanakama says three members of the Sanhedrin Gedola, they would go out. That's, that's the Bez Nam 71. Rev Yudah Omer Hamisha, not three, but five. Why? How, how does he come up with five? Shenemar. Zekei Necho. What's Zekei Necho? That's minimally, that's two. It's plural. So that's two. Shoftecho uh, Shnaim, so that's three. four, right? And we have a principle whenever you have, we talk about a bezin, you never have an, you never have an even number. It has to be odd, okay? Then mm-hmm. bezin shokel, you can't have a bezin where you can have a stalemate. So therefore, mosifin alein orechot. We add once, it's five. That comes up five. Nimtz, what about you? You find the corpse outside the community, Tomun Begal. He was he was murdered, and they find it, he was hidden in a in a pile of stone, okay? Oh, totally he was he was actually he was hanged. They found him hanging on a tree or crucified. That's how he was killed. Oh, they found him floating. Somebody drowned him. They found him floating on water in a pond. Lohe orphan. In that case, there's no Egla Rufa. Why? Even though it's the same story. Shenema, because based on the Posuk. It says, Boa Domo Vlotomun. Bada means on the ground, not in the ground. So if you find in the ground, there's no Egla Rufa. Bagal, Lotom Bagal. No fail. You found the corpse had fallen on the ground, meaning he was, uh, as you say, a fallen victim. Howard, the fallen soldiers. Right, but that's... I want you to get patriotic. The fallen soldiers, you got it? Right. Okay. No, no fail, will totally be lost. So what is the inference of no fail? He fell on the ground. He's not hanging. He's not suspended. Right, so, so if he's suspended, no Egla Rufo. Will totally be lost. You find him, where you find him on, on, in the field? So the question, well, does it really make difference? Where you find him? Yeah, it does. Float up up the Amoyim. He's not floating on the water. You're floating on, on the water, there's no Egla Rufa. Nibza Somach far. What about if you find him right near the border? Near the border. 
So that means somebody maybe from outside the country right. came and killed him. When next to the city, the majority are goyim. There's no Egla Rufa. Okay? Because it says the member the Shoftim leave the city. So but if there's no Shoftim in the city, there's no so then there's no Bezdin. there's no Ain Modidin El Ishko Bezdin. You only measure from a city that has a Bezdin. Maybe you have two cities and now they both have a Bezdin. We want to know the corpse mm -hmm. is closest to which one. Mm -hmm. So you measure the, the distance from the corpse to the city, whichever city is closer, that city has to bring the Egla Rufa. My Komar, how do we know that the Egla Rufa, that the Zikanim and the Shoftim have to speak in Lashon HaKodesh in Hebrew? Right? We'll see in a moment. Omre vo hochi It says, Vo'onu. It says, they, what do they say? We did not shed his blood. That's what the Zikanim say. We, we are not responsible for his death. Uh, but they use the term, and they respond. Now, where do we find that the word Onu means Lashon HaKodesh? Right, it says that by Hagris and Harevo. Remember we had earlier? The curses and the blessings right. were in Hebrew. It says, V'onu. Just says, by the Levim. By Hagris and Harevo, it was B'loshon HaKodesh. Avkan, B'loshon HaKodesh. What says, V'onu. V'onu, it also means Hebrew. V'seide Egla, Rufa, Ketzad. What exactly was the, was the order? Mm-hmm. They find the corpse on the ground, not buried. It says, It says, Your elders and your judges. So three, that's the Tanakama. Rebut says five. Rebut Omer, Chamisha. Now the question, what's the basis for the argument? Ton Rabbonah. V'yotsu z'keinech shoftecho, z'keinecho shnayim. We can't have an even number. Right? So what do you have? You have five. Mm -hmm. Two and two, another one's five. Rav Shimon Omer. Now Rav Shimon says differently. is plural. Two. Now, but too difficult, but it says Shoftecho. It seems to be Reb Shimon is not dealing with the word Shoftecho. I mean, according to the calculation, Zekenecho is two, Shoftecho is two. Reb Shimon only acknowledges Zekenecho. He, he ignores Shof. So what, what does he do with Shoftecho? Okay, so the word Reb Shimon, now we Shoftecho. How does Reb Shimon stop at three? It says Shoftecho. You know what it means? You read this one. Zekeinecho, which us shoftecho. What kind of, what, you have different kinds of judges, right? right? You have a judge of an ordinary court, and you have the judge who's a member of the Sanhedrin Gedola. Of all the d various levels of courts, there was a, there was a three member court, tw 20, right. right? There was, what's the next one? 21. 23. 20. 23, and there was 71. He thinks, you know, drinking age is 21. It's 21. Okay? So it's 3, 23, 71. So how do you, maybe members of a 23 member court are not qualified. No. It's the Kenecho Shoftecho. What quality Shofate? It has to be the ultimate elder. Who are the ultimate elders? From the Sajan and Gedola. So we're talking about the same people. The Shoftecho said if it's only three, because we're speaking of the same three people. The three people, what has to be the caliber of their status, right. they have to be zekeinecho. Okay, Rebuda. So, what about Rebuda? Right, Rebuda. So, if so, if everybody, nobody argues, they have to be members of Sanhedrin Gedola. So, how does Rebuda? If he uses Shoftech to tell me the additional two, so how does he know you have to have the ultimate level of zekeinim, mm -hmm. right from Sanhedrin Gedola? Rebuda miziknei zekeinecho. It could have said ziknei. But it says Kenecho. So it's like the, the word Zokain is really, it's longer than it has to be. Reb Shimon, I, Reb Shimon says, because of Zikne, Havamina, Fila Zikne, Ashuk. It says, elders, you go out, you right, go to an old age home, and this, the guy's playing. You get three people. You get three older people, right? Kosa Rachman is Kenecho. Your elders. We're not talking just old people. Because of Rachman is Kenecho, Havamina, Fila Sanhedrin, Ketano. You think even elders that are members of the lesser court. Court of 23, because Rachman of Shoftecho, Lemuchodim Shem Shoftecho. It means the most special of judges. Who's the most special of all judges? 
that's members of the Sanhedrin Gedola, which is 71. I reviewed the Nami Gomer, reviewed Nami Gomer's, reviewed the Gomer's Zikne Zikne, Zikne Edo. Hitler has a Gzera Shava. It's a Zikne, it's a Zikne. Malan Mihod Mishabe Edo, just as over there it says Mihod Mishabe Edo, it's a Zikne or Edo. Here also, Afkam Mihod Mishabe Edo. Rega? Yeah, it says, what happens if, if the majority of Klaus will eat, the Sanhedrin give a, give, a, give a ruling that, let's say, Chalev is permitted, then they realize they made a mistake. So it says, if the majority of Klaus acted on the ruling of the, of the Sanhedrin Gedola, they have to bring what's called the Paralam Dover. They have to bring an ox for this inadvertent sin. So over there, it, it says explicitly, who, who, who was Zikne or Edo? Who gave the ruling? The Sanhedrin Gedola. So just though the Zikne means Sanhedrin Gedola, here also it's a Zikne, it's based on Gzera Shava, okay? Avkam Yuchashvi, I Gomer, I Gomer, Ligmar Kulei, Milso, Mihosam, Zikhenech, if that's the case, you have the Gzera Shava, what do you need? You don't need Zikhenecho, you learn from Zikne, Zikne, Shavtech Lomit, Elo Vov, Shavtech Lomit, Yonah. The Vov of Shavtech is to tell me the number, Reb Shimin, Vov Lo Mashmalei, okay? Not a separate, separate. No, no, they don't have to be from those cities. But you have to have in those cities. You have to have members. You have to have a bezdin. Doesn't the Sanhedrin of Gadol was in the city? No. You have to have a bezdin. No, even have one of the judges. Of the, the, the no, you need a bezdin. No, no, no. It's not enough to have a judge living there. There has to be a court. That that court has to be in it. No, no I understand. But after that, it says they have to be member, uh, at least one, or some of them have to be members of great Sanhedrin. Yeah, yeah, good, good. The ones who go out. The ones who go out, that doesn't say they live in the city, no. So it's, it's a separate, separate judges. So there's three and three from each city. You can have, let's see, have, let's see. City plus you have a member of the great Sanhedrin who comes in. You have the three, no, the three of them have to. The three that go out to do the measures, to measure the distance from the corpse to the city. Right. The, those three are members of the Sanhedrin Gedola. Oh, all three? All three, all three. Oh, so they're not from either city? No, 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 all three. And they don't even live, as long as you have a Besden in that community, that community has to have a, a, a measuring. Who does that measuring? You bring people from the San Angelo, they do the measuring. I see. It's the issue that you... Uh, oh. So we, we're talking about in a monetary situation, you get three regular people and you can have a best in. So that's, that's like rabbinical. That's rabbinical. Right. So is that why they're saying that you need the best of the No, no, no. no. Yeah, what about Sanhedrin Katana? You have a best in that they put somebody to death. The best of 23 can put somebody to death, yes? They're called Zikanium. They're also called Zikanium. Right, but you, I mean, is he saying because you could have a, a, a lesser... Uh, What's lesser? Lesser means even a court of 23 doesn't qualify. But uh, three people of Hedges... Uh, Hedges, it's not even, they're not Zikanium. It's not even a consideration. Uh, Zokane means a person who has the ordination for Moshe Rabbeinu. Right. Anything less than that, you're not called a Zokane. Okay. You call it a Joe Schmo. You know what Joe Schmo is? It's not age itself. It implies both. No, Zikanium only means that. Only. Only elder so it means young, so it be young person who has that, who has that ordination, who has he's that yeah. caliber of of diet. He's, he's called Zokin. Yes. Okay. See, so says the Marais question is: We we have not. Is it three or is it five? Right. So Marais says Elimiat says Viyotsu Shnaim Modu Shnaim. It says they go out and it says they measure. So if that's the case, you, you should add another four. The Yotsu Umodu. The Rabbi Yudahari can Tishiva, Tisha. It's another four, add it to five. So how many, sh yeah, so yeah, how many yeah. judges should you have? You should have nine. The Rabbi Shimon, he has three. So if you add four to three, oh. Hari can Shiva. Yeah, yeah. There should be seven Zakanim. Nobody holds it. It's l maximum three according to Rabbi Shimon, yeah. maximum five according to Rabbi Yudah. Right? Kiddil Lechiratanyo. 
So more answers. The more answers. Homi boy lech of Tanya. When it says v'yotzu, and the modu, we since we derive something else from that, we we don't use it for the numbers. Mm-hmm. We don't add numbers. Why? The Tanya v'yotzu. What do we? They go out. What's they? I mean the original three or the original. They go out. What's the em- em- emphasis? Velosh luchayim. They. This is not something you could, you could designate an agent. Can't delegate it through an agent. The members of them, they have to personally go out and do the measuring. Okay? Umadudu. What's umadudu? Let's say visually, it's, it's obvious. It's, it's, it's closer to one city. No, 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 no. Madu shafil nipsa ba'ole lir ha You hear this? Even if visually it's clear it's closer to one, it has to be measured. The Torah says it has to measure. It says, shemitzvah lasuk bimedido. There's a mitzvah to measure it. You know, we had this mission in Rosh Hashanah. You know, you permitted for Kiddush HaChodesh to violate Shabbos. If the witnesses have to come to testify. Mm-hmm. So Mara has a question, what about if it's near Ba'aliel? Same word, Aliel. The moon is, is, is uh, rare, clear night. People are within the proximity of Shalim definitely, they don't have to travel. They don't have to violate Shabbos. Yeah, you permit it? No, you don't have to. You permit it to come even mm-hmm. from far away. Mm-hmm. Why? Because there's a mitzvah of Kiddush HaChodesh. And since every Jew... If you have that information, there's a mitzvah to testify. You come wherever it is. Here, it, visually, it's obvious it's close to one, one, one city. It's ba'olil. It's obvious. It's clear. <coughs> there's a mitzvah of Medido. You have to measure from the city to that location. Finished. Mastis look Reb Lezben Yaakov. Our mission does not go like Reb Lezben Yaakov. It's Reb Lezben Yaakov. The Tanya. Reb Lezben Yaakov Omer. Zekeinech uzu Sanhedrin. Listen to this. What is the meaning Sanhedrin? It's the whole court. Mm. What is it? Shoftecho zemelech. Yeah, this, the king also has to be involved. This, this is Rabbi Lezim Yaakov. The Kohen Godel. Mm. How, do we, how do we know Shoftecho means the melech and the Kohen Godel? Melech dechsiv melech v'mishpet yab min oris. Here, a king, through judgment, he establishes the land. He secures the land. Melech v'mishpet yab min oris. Yeah. Posseg mishle. And how do you know Kohen Godel is also called Shofet? The Kohen Godel, yeah. Kohen Godel, the Chsiv, Uvosel HaKohen HaLevim, Vel HaShofet, HaShayiyah. So you see there's an association between Shofet and... So according to Rebbe Lezim and Yaakov, what do we have? You have Sanhedrin, you have the king, and you have the Kohen Godel involved. Okay? So Rebbe Lezim and Yaakov, Rebbe Lezim and Yaakov says you have to have Iboilu. Rebbe Lezim and Yaakov, Bimelech Kohen Godel, who the public is the only argument. In terms of the numbers of how many members on Hedgen, he's, no argue, he's not arguing. It's either three or five. He's only arguing. In addition to that, you have to have the king and the coin godler. Of San Hedgen, but regarding the number of, of his kanim, Ikreb Yuda, Ikreb Shimon, severely. He, he concurs with one or the other. Either with, it's three or it's five. O Dilmano, but San Hedgen, Nami Polik. Ah, the Ika Kuli San Hedgen, you this? When he says Sanhedrin, he means not members of Sanhedrin. He means that you have to have the full Sanhedrin there. So, Mar- Omer of Yosef, bring a raya proof. Now, there's a thing called the Pensora Mora. Meaning, if the court gives a certain ruling, and a member of the Sanhedrin goes and he says, I disagree, although they took a vote and gave a ruling, he's considered a Zokim Mamri. He's a defiant elder. He's put to death. So, we learned, we learned in the Mishnah, Motsun Zokim Mamre Abe Pagi. The Himra Leyen, they found the Zokim Mamre not with not in the Lishka, not where they convene. A Beipagi is in the Harabayis. It's called Beipagi, a location in the Harabayis. So it says Yochot Emor Mos Hamro. Maybe there the defiance, and he disagrees there. Tamadoma v'kamta v'lisa lemokum. Hear this? He has to defy the court in the location where the ruling was given. And where's the ruling given? In the, cut, in the chamber of cut stone. That's right alongside the sanctuary. Yeah. But further down the mountain, although he's doing the exact, exact same thing, with Talocha, he's not a Zokin Mamre. Mm-hmm. It has to be in the presence of the court where they gave the ruling. Malame Shamokim Gorin. So we see clearly the, the location is, is crucial okay. from to be assumed the status of a Zokin Mamre. So now the Gemara wants to know when he defied them, in whose presence did he say it? No, no. How many people, how, much, how many of the Sanhedrin and the were there that he says, I disagree with you people? Mm-hmm. Right? The Nofakam, how much of the Sanhedrin who came to the Beipagi and he said in their presence, 
I, I reject. I disagree with you people. Let's say a minority had come out. Maybe the ones are still inside near the sanctuary. Maybe they agree with him. Why is he called defiant? Because they gave they have one opinion. You're disagreeing. <coughs> you have no right to disagree. So now, how many people is he saying he disagree? Let's say they're there. They're, let's say two thirds of the sun is there. Mm. So what? But a third back in the back, they could, they could agree with him. So what's the proof that he, he's a lone defi it's defiant? Defiant. And maybe he has a whole group backing him. Mm -hmm. That's the worst. Elipshita, Nafakulu. The answer is all of them came out. The whole Sanhedrin came, left, and the halach is you're not permitted to leave Lishkas Agozis. In the Sanhedrin is not permitted to disband only at nighttime. During the day, they have to be there the whole time, unless they have to go to a Dvar Mitzvah. Mm -hmm. See, if you say they're on the way to go measure the corpse, see the reason why they were permitted to leave? Because the whole Sanhedrin had to pick themselves and leave it. And on the way down, he said to them, I disagree with all of you. But if some of them left behind, what's even the consideration? Mamre. Maybe the, the remnant which is behind, they, they agree with him. So, so what? It's a proof. If they just they want to take a lunch break, you for, for, some, for, for, a, for a non mitzvah, not permitted to leave it. Because it says, Aganasar, Al Yeser Amezik. They have to be minimally 23 judges. A third of the court has to always be there. You can't, can't leave it totally vacant. As long as you leave behind 23 judges, it's fine. A person has to go to a chasana. A person has to uh, doctors upon Whatever it is. But just to leave, you always have to make sure that 23 judges behind. But if not, you're not permitted to leave. So how did, how did he become a zoki? What's the consideration? By Bay Pagi, the answer is they all left. Why did they leave? The answer is they were on the way to go measure the corpse. You see, Reb Lesben Yaakov is of the opinion that you have to have the whole Sanhedrin there. Right. The whole Sanhedrin is involved. Ela, Pshita, Lidvar Mitzvah, Lemai. What kind of Dvar Mitzvah are they going for? That the whole Sanhedrin vacated the Lishkas Agozis. Lemai. Lav, Lemididas, Eglo. Evidently, it's, it's to measure the yeah, distance yeah. from the city to the corpse. Reb Lesben Yaakov, Omar Abai, Omar Abai, no, no, no proof. You know what they were left for? Dimul Hosev Al Ir Al Azoros. You know what's the halacha if you want to extend Yushalayim? You want to extend yeah. that, that, and Yushalayim has a special kedusha. Right. You have to have the Sanhedrin involved. They 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 have to sanctify the location. They have to give a decision. We're extending yeah. it a hundred yards. If they gave that psak and you go whatever is that extension takes on kedusha Yushalayim. Right. So they came to extend Yushalayim. Or they wanted to expand the, 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 the sanctuary. You can only expand yeah, Yushalayim or the Azoros only based on the, whole, uh, uh, the court of 71 has to be. So they all have to come. So they're not going to measure. Tanya Kavosir of Yosef. We have a Bryce supporter of Yosef. It says, Motza Bis Pagi. and they left Bis Pagi. They found him and he defied them in Beis Pagi, which is not in the Azoro. It says explicitly in the Bible, either they went to measure the Egla Rufus, we're talking about the entire Sanhedrin, or the Hosef Al-Ir Val-Azoros. Yochote Amroso Habro. Maybe his defiance is called defiance that he's put to death. Tamadom Vakamta Valiso. Lame Chamokim Gorb. So you see clearly from the Brysa that Reb Lezeb and Yaakov holds mm. that the whole Sanhedrin has to be there. So he's arguing on two things. That you have the king has to be there, and the coin goddle has to be there, plus the, plus the whole Sanhedrin. And three or five is definitely not sufficient. Okay? <coughs> now, it said in the Mishnah, if you find the corpse buried in, in, a, in a mound, it's not, you don't bring Hegelov, of course. It says, Al Pnei Hasodet. It says, ba, it says Bo Adoma, on top of the, the land, okay. on top of the ground. Right. If he's floating, also not. If he's hanging, right. also not. Right. All this. Nimsa Tome Begalo Tolui, Chachomim, Omrim, Besoder Larabos. The Chama Ogre, they said, no. Basoder Larabos is Atomun. You hear this? When it says Basoder, that comes to include the Tomun. One second. This, what is this speaking about? This is speaking about, one second, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The is, what's the 
if a person is harvesting his field and uh, he f he leaves some gleanings behind, he has to leave it for the poor. Right. It says over there, if you left it basode, you forgot it basode. So he said, what is that? That even if it's concealed, right. even those gleanings have to be. So there he's interpreting the word basode to mean to include, even if it's in, it's hidden. Mm -hmm. And here we're saying that it's come to tell me no, it has to be on top. If it's hidden, it's no good. Right. Omar Rav Yosei, Omar, um, excuse me, Omar Rav, I feel Tim Rabbonan. The Rabbonan concur with our. Hoch binyoni kro, hoch binyoni kro. Why? Dechsev. What does it say? Ki imotze cholo. Now, what do you know? You find a corpse. Hechod mishtakach, ba'adoma. And the Torah says, where did you find a ba'adoma? So, it's, what does it have to speak about? Where it was found. Wherever you found, you find it. So what does it say? Badoma. It's evidently the word Badoma comes to exclude a situation. It's on the ground, not buried. Not buried in the ground. It says, You go and you harvest your, the harvest in the field. And no, and you forget, you've got a sheep behind. So it says, Shikha, Dumirakots, over there. The forgetting is similar when you when you cut wheat. Is the wheat exposed or concealed? It's exposed, right? So we're saying the shikha is going back on the cuts here. Just as what you cut was not concealed, right? Identically, it's obvious. Ma kotzer begoli, have shikha begozi. And then the Torah says basoda. So what's basoda? The word basoda is totally superfluous. From from kotzer and, and omer, we know it speak means it's not concealed. So what's the Torah add the word basoda? To tell me, even if it's hidden, even afterwards it's hidden, you still, what, have to leave it to the poor. The rabbi says, Atomund. So I asked, the rabbi Yudah, Nami Tebekleg, Mishikha, Dumit Akotzir. So according to rabbi Yudah, what do we learn? It also, in Ochenami, El Basode, Lomlik, Miboy Le Rabbos, Shikhas Komo. What about if you leave it, you didn't cut it. The normal case of shikha is you cut, you, you left a sheep behind. It was cut. What about you cut wheat and you forgot to cut part of the wheat? So this part of wheat is still growing. Right? How do you, even, how do you know even that has to be left? Mm. If it was harvested and you forgot to bundle behind, okay, that's, that's shikha. But how do we know even if it's become, it's still in its growth state? So that, that's what the soda comes tell me. Even if it's still growing and you didn't cut it, even that's classified as shikha. Rabbonah shichos komem noli, but the Rabbonah they learned from the pasuk of of Sodev, they learned even Tomund said nafklu michisikzok tzircho basodev. Excuse me, kisikzor kitzircho basodev. What's the base? The Bach. The shachachto. Just the shachachto. Shachachto means regardless. Rabbi Yudin Boilich and Rabbi Omer Blazer and Rabbi Omer Blazer Prat Lishot 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 Vot Sofui Omer Mutoch Hasode Mao Dis Mao Avi of Sode Kisode Dami Olo Kisode Kamash Yeah 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 One Second Yeah. What about the sheave is on a stone? It's not on the ground. So is that shikha? He cuts it and it, it, it's piled up. No, it fall, fell on a on a stone. Is that shikha? Maybe it's not. Shikha has to be on the ground, as he says. He says, Omer Omer of Rebbe Rebbe Omer of Lazer, Prat Lishotvo Omerim Besochasodeh. Meaning there was something separating. L'toch sod chaveiro rabbonen mibesod besodcho rabbiud besodcho lo mashmalei. But they were all in agreement. The shik has to be on the ground. It cannot be on a stone because you can't grow anything on a stone. It has to be in the field. If Even if the stone is in the field, but if it's on the stone, that's not shikha. Boy Rabbi Yirmiyo, Sofi Omrim l'toch sod mau. What about if the Omer is like suspended? It's not on the stone. It's just air. You know what's going on? There's air between the, okay. the, 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 the sheave and the ground. Suspended. Do we see the, the air of the Sodeh as if it's down? 
or or no, it's factually it's not touching the ground. <coughs> No, we're talking no, if it's within three twachim, it's on yeah. the ground. We're talking it's above three twachim. Above. You don't say lovud, right? Anything within three is on the ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He says it's like on a post. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was saw the Kusaro over Omale Ravkano, the puppy, Vamilo Ravkano, the Ravsvi, Tisha Lomi Drebavo, Domer Prat the Shotsvo, Om Matoha Sode, Haver the Havero, A Lutosa de Lo. Okay, we'll stop here today.